I used the Corrado reel and well rod and reel more in the second half of 2019 than I did in the beginning. So, a little bit of a story. By the way, I don't think I'm going to catch anything. I'm just kind of coming out here to enjoy the weather and have fun because, well, and make this video because after today it's going to be some pretty crappy weather. Okay, why did I not notice? I didn't even notice that there was a dead deer here. You know, another thing that's cool too, if you got the Corrado DC set on four, which is the flipping and pitching setting, or as some people refer to it as the no backlash setting. Check this out. Uh, the DC, it's the 7.4 to 1 high gear. It's on a Shimano Corrado 7 foot 2 medium heavy power fast action. It's got a Texas rig Bandito bug quarter ounce weight, 3 out hook, uh, 3 out super line hook. Casted it and hit the water. It did not backlash. You see that? Oh, more line came out. So then, oh finally backlashed and I'm gonna play that clip with no cut no nothing just let that play just to show you that the Corrado DC is amazing you know and it's funny too because I didn't think I was gonna come out here and kind of talk about it like a one-year review thing but I mean I've always been a fan of conventional reels and DC but you guys know that I prefer prefer conventional reels more just because that's always what i've used and i picked up the anteras dc about four years ago and you know i like that and then they originally they eventually excuse me came out with the corrado dc which i picked up but i used her a little bit and then i really wasn't too crazy about it, so i kind of put it down and then like basically i just i used it a little bit during the first half of 2019 and I thought it was all right. And then in the second half of 2019, I started fishing Texas rigs with it all the time. And then, you know, it turns out that I really like it. I mean, see how much farther that casted when you uh, put the setting to three. So long story short, I, I really started liking it. And then I realized, wow, this is an amazing reel. And like, it's just all around good. It's very durable, it's solid. I mean, I think it looks great and operates well with the Corrado rod. And another thing too is in the year, roughly year that I've had this Corrado DC, I have not cleaned it. So if you hear it once in a while, the reel kind of sound dirty, like, ugh, you might need to clean that. Well, yeah, I do. It hasn't been clean. Hear that? Has not been clean. You know, and I called up Matt Goes Fishing because I know he had experience with the Corrado rod and he used it. I said, hey, how do you like it? And he said he liked it. And I ended up picking that up. And you know, I put the two together, Corrado DC, Corrado rod, for my bottom baits. I mean, Texas rigs and jig rod. And I mean, the Corrado DC too, it's not as light as some of the G Loomis rods or other Shimano rods that I have, but it is a very good rod for the price, to be honest with you. I mean, I've got 20 pounds Sunline fluorocarbon. I've got a Gamagatsu Superline EWG hook. It's the three aught. And then I do have a natural bandito bug. Get it out of my pocket on the hook. So what we're gonna have to do, hold on, let me get this reeled in. Show you guys the tackle. And yes, for those of you that are wondering, if I haven't said it already, it is the 7.4 to 1 high gear and it is 31 inches per turn. So, what I did is I basically just came out here and put together a bag with a couple boxes. I got my fishing license in here and then I got some baits in there. But anyway, um, a lot of people ask me too, because I'm going over the setup, what is my favorite way to fish a Texas rig? And I say it all the time and I'll probably say it again. Like I said, it's a Superline EWG 3 out hook. And you know, if you're wondering, is it the same thing as a Gamagatsu offset shank worm EWG 3 out hook, but a Superline? Yes, it is. Say that 10 times. And it does have the Strike King Tour Grade Tungsten quarter ounce weight. And some of you guys are probably like, what happened to your Bass Mafia boxes? I still have them. I'm just 
trying out these planos i used to carry these years ago kind of trying them again and another thing too what i can do is i can also make a video about chatterbaits and chatterbait trailers that's something i really haven't talked about on my channel yet but i'm getting sidetracked because i'm just kind of out here having fun i mean the weather is going to suck but anyway if you want to just skip through all that part <laughs> The bait that I'm using, it is the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug. It's the natural color. Check that out. Um, I probably should be throwing a jerk bait or some type of drop shot or finesse jig, but nah, you know what? I'll take my Texas rig rod out there just to talk about the Corrado DC and the Corrado rod. I mean, nothing really too crazy. Just out here having fun. But to end the video, I will tell you guys that I do have, I got this video. And then I have a, I think, 5 or 10 random fish catch video. And then, yeah, that sounded really bad. And then my monster bass unboxing for the month of January. And I think in 2020, like I said, like, I'm going to combine tackle and fishing. But I think I'm going to do fishing videos more than i am anything else and i've even actually thought about why not just make all fishing videos in 2020 and just do all fishing videos and monster bass unboxing videos i'm, I'm really thinking about that but anyway one more time if you're worrying worrying wondering about the corrado dc if you're wondering let's see what we got here i'm just kind of playing around skip it I'm not very good at skipping. I can do it, but here, that was okay. Like I said, I'm not too good at skipping. I mean, a DC reel will help you. I should probably have it on four, but I have the reel set to three. That was a little better. Anyway. That was terrible. So if you look on the side of the reel, you're going to notice that it has four, three, two, and one. Four is for flipping and pitching or no backlash as some people refer to. And yes, I know that I am repeating myself. Three is the fluorocarbon setting. Two is the setting for braid. And one is the setting for maximum distance. Now people ask me, is maximum distance the same thing as the extreme distance mode on the Antares DC that I got from Japan? I, I don't think so. I think the extreme distance does cast farther, even though it is recommended that you use a bait that weighs five eighths or bigger. But anyway, one more time, take it off of setting three, back to four, and boom. I just casted it and it went down and it did not backlash, literally, see that? I could make a video out of that and I could title it a reel that doesn't backlash, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Corrado Reel something. I don't know. But anyway, you guys enjoyed.